Hi, welcome to my collection of Arch Linux systems here. This is my SSD to teach about Arch Linux. One of the questions uh, that I wrote down that was on my to-do list is a question of a user telling me, of asking me, look Eric, uh, once we go to phase, um, well, five, yeah, five, and we go to an Arch Linux installation, how do we get inside um, these conkeys from Arco Linux? So I can choose any of these guys to, to do it on. It doesn't matter on what desktop we are. Um, so I'm gonna choose just one of them and load up Arch Linux. This action we are doing here is actually an, um, is what we call spices, the spices of Arch Linux to get them. Now I recall somebody asking, hey, could me, could you give me this, this elephant? So I'm gonna pause the video and put it on my desktopper.co slash Eric Dubois account so he has this beautiful wallpaper. So that's done. You just make an account on Desktopper, put it on here, click here, and it's on your Dropbox account so everybody can see it now. So how do we get Arch Linux stuff in here? Is there already a Conky in here? There is a Conky Zen and there is possibility here to have um, all the conkeys already. So how, how do we proceed? How we, do we get these uh, conkeys in there? And this is actually an arch conky. And there's a little dot in the middle. It couldn't be any better. So getting information in is um, making sure that Arch Linux is loaded, meaning file manager, file system, etc, pacman.conf. Uh, nope, and we go all the way down and you have to make sure that the Arch Linux elements are installed. So the Arch Linux fra is no longer necessary, Yahoo is no longer applicable. We need to install JS and, uh, or Trizen as a helper. So this is our Arch Linux repo and I see it's uh, still an old one. Um, so but it, it's gonna work anyway because it's partly right, you know. So. It has been created uh, at some point in time. I don't know. I don't recall when I did this. But uh, let's let's start from scratch again and say, okay, we need to do something in this pacman.conf. And let's have a look what we have on this system already. We have Arch Linux D and Arch Linux, nothing here. And the Nemesis, and we have the Arco XFCE. So this is the one actually from Arch Linux D GitHub. So if you go to github.com Arch Linux D, you'll find this guy here. Now let's get the new stuff in. And that's why I will ask you not to download and zip it and, and unpack it and all that, but git clone it. Because if you git clone something, you can later say git pull. So I probably have made lots of changes since then and I'm moving forward and these elements have all been changed. So that's important for you. If you have a git clone, you do git pull first because lots of things change all the time. And we, um, well, we, we, we update our scripts so that everything still works. So if you are on um, an, a distro, well, maybe I'm just, maybe just, just uh, go to the web browser and uh, show you that there is this github right article linux d and now you know where this code is coming from this is the code that we just downloaded uh, five days ago i updated it so you need to git pull everything always okay archway this is the folder for people in phase five when you're in your arch linux you need to do this thing and um, let's get rid of these lines here because there are going to be new lines. I'm going to save it and the new lines are added here. So you see what's happening. Open a terminal here. Let's put that guy here. Let's put you up there like so. So if you, this thing is optional, but I need to do it. Uh, my um, internet service provider blocks kind of things on my, my, uh, well, on my account, right? So when I do this, things will, will brighten up for me, you know, these key servers and the other ports, I need them. 
Then you need to trust the Arclinix key, which is locally signed as of now, and all the keys are coming in, refreshing 111 keys, 11, I mean, <laughs> keys. This is good, could take a while. I don't know uh, how responsive your key server is near you, but it might take a while. It's um, one day against the other one. Let's try it again. Sometimes a um, retry of, of trial is working, but um, well, let him do his work, I would say. Let's run number 30 already. And number 30 is going to add the Arch Linux elements. And you see it already works. Um, I've tested these things here, these lines means that it's, it works. The only thing I need to do to show you that it works is click here. That's it. There you go. So all these new repos have been added because we've a repo for the wallpapers, a repo for the third party, Dropbox, Spotify, a repo for our elements like the conkey and all that and a repo testing just if you want to test if you want to test stuff that's not already for the public but the beta testers tested them he's working here he's uh, figured out that maybe you should do something that i'm making a tutorial but it is just the server you just wait for the thing to do its thing so basically we have a new pacman.conf and if you do a control T, things will change. Update, does that exist here? We've made already an, uh, well, let's update. We've made already an, a bash RC in this tutorial, meaning we have already installed some of the packages of Arch Linux. This is done, key trusted. So finally, and uh, script 20 ran. So that's all you need to do for now for the repos. Alt-C is working, Alt-T is working, and uh, we're updating here. So what else? You go to PAMAC, PAMAC, and, and what did we do already in the past, right? So this is an, a system, where are you, PAMAC? Oh yeah, PAMAC needs to update. Um, there was an issue, and we'll, we need to update this PAMAC thing. Yay, PAMAC. A warm. Oh, yeah, it's not funked already. Okay, fine. What do we have then? Fryzen? Fryzen is not found. Yeah, it's not found. We don't have an AUR helper, so we can include that in the video as well. So, PKSY way. Package query error while roading, etc. Cannot, etc. So, we still have an old. Uh, Arch um, Linux here working with package query and package query is a package that's used for Yahoo. So this thing is, is an, an old uh, setup for Arch Linux XFCE that we're gonna fix now. Okay, right. Let me think. First thing I think is going to be um, I need my PAMAC AWAR. Quit. Okay. PAMAC is not installed. Yaourt is installed, but Yaourt won't work. Let's try. Voila. PAMAC Yaourt is not needed. Let's clean up. Sudo pacman minus s Yaourt minus r Yaourt. What I do s, what happens then? Package query is gone as well, so that's what I wanted, that's good. Those two are connected, they need to go. Bye. Now, I need to install yay. Yay is a better helper. Okay, so AOR, yay, and yay bin is even faster to install. Yay bin, download the snapshot, save, save. We'll do it like this, right mouse click, open window, downloads. There it is, extract, extract here. Yay bin, package build. Any text that's in here that has the name package build, all in capitals, you type make me a package.
Okay, now yaybin is created. We're going to install it with sudo pacman minus u. Yay, minus bin something. A long name. Use the auto tab and type in your password. Yay is installed. It's not called yay bin, it's still yay. Pamac AOR is the one I want. No coloring, that's because we made coloring in Arco Linux. Um, I'm gonna take number one. There's a little bit of colors here. Okay, let him do his thing. Now that's Pamac AOR installing. We have yay there. There is no um, packages yet of Arco Linux. So the spices, where are my spices? Let's first check if we also have the tray. Yes, we have. So the tray is there. Uh, Control C. Let's put it to the background. That's that. Now I hope I can do Control C. Yeah. So it's still there. Pamac tray is going gone to the background from inside the terminal. We have this ugly little things here because our Sardi icons have not been updated yet. So yay sardi icons number one that's coming in and then we're gonna look repositories art linux repos well it's hardly possible to read but this has a small green thingy this does not and all that so i better wait for my sardi icons to come then it's gonna be visually a lot more pleasant to analyze what we have and what we don't have. Okay, so you're out. I still need to uh, delete some of the elements. And that's because we have made new icons and the icons are conflicting with a package I created in the past, Sardi Mono mixing needs to go because it's replaced with sardi oh wrong thing yes and the other mono no the other flexible mixing needs to go as well these elements well one of those things is now included in the sardi icons now you can go ahead my friend install one And there we go. Let's get another wallpaper in. Nicer one. Okay. So the Sardi icons, have they been applied? Yes, they're all blue. So repositories, Arc Linux repo. We have installed Arc themes already. Um, the bin, would be nice to have the bin. In the bin, there are the, the nice um, scripts and also the needed scripts to install Samba and etc. Mm. The config kit is there as well. In the Conkey collection is already installed, otherwise we wouldn't have this little thing here. I want to install the root as well. We could install a Kunal Linux keyring, but Basically, with the script we just did, the keyring is added. So that's done. Arc Linux local git. Uh -huh. New fetch. Well, we've decided already to install lots of things, but not, it seems, ah, it seems the root as well. And with the latest update, oh, fine. So I just need to do the scale thingy and then everything works. So this is the way you can quickly check what do I need, what do I want, do I want Discord on my system? Yes, then you install elements if you want some wallpapers. These are the spices from Arc Linux. You just click away, apply, and then choose and go. This is now a graphical way, but you can of course do the same thing in your terminal. So that's that. Um, let's move to where the Bash RC is, which is in etc scale. 
So etc scal is in here, control H. So we've changed the bash RC um, latest. So this is the very, very latest thing. Cancel. And we have added, for instance, this one is new. And up here, there must be also a line that's new. So yeah, this is the last uh, changes that I've made. So that's good. Let's close other tabs, like so. So basically, I need to copy paste these things over to my own. So, Control C, go to your home, and Control V. That's what we used to do all the time in the past. We have to do it once more. And my logo changed. So back then it was a smaller logo or another logo, probably another logo. And there you are, new Conky has now been copied over. Then we going to check if these two are the same. Do we have here the compare? We do have the compare. Okay, fine. So, oh, Bash RC is quite empty. So this is the standard Bash RC you get with Arch Linux, right? So all the rest is, is well, an invention of ours. All things that frustrate us or that makes our life easy, it's gonna be in the Bash RC. So now we have a new Bash RC. We, the only thing we need to do is to source it, to load it up. And you source it like this. There you go. This means I have now my mirror from Arch Linux. Control C, that's not the one. <laughs> Passport. Password is wrong. Okay, reflector, command not found. No problem. Pseudo Pacman minus S, reflector. By the way, there are other stuff that's not there. YouTube downloader is not there. XPack is not there. Those are all applications that are used in our aliases. So, mirror. There is my mirror. And that's that. And um, other things like copy bash is working. Anything in the alias is actually just working as of this now at this moment since we sourced it. So I tried this mirror thing, just typed CB copy bash. You can type your scale thingy. Uh, you can type backup scale which is this one up here. Here's your backup scale and all that. So everything is, is imported, let's say. All T, spiced up is what we like to call it. A nice picture as well. And the conkeys, um, let's back, get back to the conkeys. The question was how to get the conkeys. So basically um, what you need to install as well, start typing and start analyzing. You need the conky Lua Arches for one and Arch Linux Conkey Collection 2, but also uh, some of the pipe menus. So repositories, Arch Linux, basically you need as well the way to show that one. This application is an, well, what they call a pipe menu, and it opens up a window in which you choose from. So if you don't install it, the Conkey Zen will never work. So <clears throat> I guess that rounds it up. Uh, we've uh, explained a lot more, of course, than the title will tell, but that you're used to that. Um, we always encounter things and then we show how to fix them. So, well, maybe another conky to see the very, very last conky. So we know we're up to date. And that's the, I've sorted now from W to Z. So this is on. And the new one is the Lazuli, the last one from December. So it looks like this in here. Only thing maybe to do to end it all is Alt N and see you have a matching wallpaper. That might be a good thing. This is normal. Uh, Plank doesn't like when it's overwritten. So each time you do a scale, you overwrite Plank's stuff. And it says, oh no. So there you go. This is your Arch system. Arch Linux system, it is pimped, it is created. Oh, nice thing to know, last thing to change. 
There's no Neofetch in here. Maybe you like it like this as well. Here it is. It's Arch Linux, it's rolling and it's working. Of course, it's Arch. But um, if you want to have this um, Neofetch, whoop, favorites. If you want to have this Neofetch, you need to go to Bash RC. Cancel. Why, 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 what's that? Bash RC. Oh yeah, sure, 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 sure. What did I do, guys? I did a scal, and the scal is copying, pasting the old Bash RC, which is completely empty. So quick fix, copy Bash CB. He doesn't know it. Oh my God, I broke the system. Now, what you need to do is get the content from this thing. Control A, cancel. Control A, Control C, and get it in the Bash RC which is this one, here is it, this is the normal standard empty bash RC, control V, save and if you don't want to get this issue again and again and again you get to etc scal bash RC, which is the empty one, cancel and overwrite it so you get always this last version now it will not be an issue anymore so, sourcing Azure RC is not necessary, it's already there. You see the screen fetch working. But let's just conclude it. If you want to reload something that you change, you change something in the Azure RC, a new alias, remember to source it, otherwise it will not work. Or log out, login, or reboot. All right, that's it for me. It's been a long video, but a lot of knowledge is in here as well, not just about the conkeys. All right, cheers.